Hi everyone, Roberta here, last video of the day. I have Philadelphia cream cheese. I ran out and I was going to use strawberry, but I really didn't want to because for this recipe I need the original. And it cost me $3.19 at the local store. And I'll tell you what, uh, it, it sure as heck is only uh, is three for five dollars right down the road, and I was there. I wish I had known because you can always get a good deal on it if you go to the right place. So I want to open my Philadelphia cream cheese here, and my today I'm going to make Hawaiian delight for dessert. And it sounds funny. The first thing I'm thinking about here is ham. Now I'm going to take out the outer edge. This is just under a quarter pound of ham, and it's Virginia baked. And I know you're like ham, dessert, well, well, I'll tell you. I'm going to be putting some pineapple in there. And I have my half a pineapple. And I'm going to cut about a can's worth. Just cut some out of there, just like that. Because I don't want to waste. And I had it available. And in this bowl here, I'm going to cut my pineapple into fairly small pieces. Just to be able to put it in a wonton. I'm going to deep fry my wontons, oops, <laughs> and um, cut these, you know, in, in little half inch pieces, you know, quarter inch thick, not very big because it won't fit in the wontons. So you have to be real careful about the size, about the size of um, a, ver a thick dime or a thick nickel, you know, uh, don't go over a nickel because anything beyond that is just too much. Now I had left over a half a pack of wonton wrappers, so I'm using those up too because I, I, I don't like the waste. <laughs> and um, I got my pineapples cut up. That's pretty good. And I'll put that aside. And my heat, my oil is heating to 375 degrees. It's almost done. Now in my recipe, I'm going to put Marchena cherries. I hope I pronounced that way. And um, my ham, I am going to cut this into very small cubes. Um, I had the deli person cut it extra thick. I said, would you cut me off a half a pound of ham? And he got pretty close. He got 0.46. And I said, that's fine. I'll take it. You know, I... <laughs> um, I'm going to work with it. So I cut it into rather small pieces. They vary just a little bit. Some of them might need to be trimmed down just a tiny bit from the edge, but you know, just just little chunks. Okay, now this one here, I'm going to separate one egg for the purpose of putting the egg white. See that? I did it this time. You rock it back and forth from one shell to the other just to get the white out of there. Alright, I guess I got as much as I can. And <laughs> I thought the camera was shutting off. Alright, so I have my Marciano cherries and I have some fresh honey. And I have my wonderful Philadelphia cream cheese. So, we're going to take our measuring spoons here. And we're going to lift up one wonton. And in that wonton, we're going to take a half a teaspoon of Philadelphia cream cheese. And uh, put it right in the center. Then we're going to take one small ham chunk, one cherry. And tell you what, if you can squish that cherry, cut it, cut it open, you know, just squish it right in there. And one piece of pineapple. Okay, and now now that's in there, all the items are in the very, very center of it. I hope you can see this, okay? Well, it's going to take our egg white and just go around the surrounding edge of this wonton. If it runs over a little bit, that's fine too. Alright. Now we have to close it. We take our wonton and we take the top and the bottom and pinch it together and then we run our fingers along the sides and close it up. And now if there's an overlap, just fold it over a little bit because not all, all of them come out perfect. All right? And then fold the bottoms of it under. See that? A little triangle. All right, now I'm going to drop it in the oil 
and test the first one. And as I do that, I'm going to continue to make these in the same manner. I'm going to take my wonton and we'll lay it down. You can put the egg on first if you find that a little easier. Not having it, just smear a little bit around the edges. Take a fairly small piece of ham, a cherry about the same size, and you can split that open to make it a little easier. You take your half a teaspoon of Philadelphia cream cheese. Mmm. Put that right in there. The order doesn't really matter. It's uh, it's all that. It's just as long as it fits in there. If you find that it's not sealing up and and you don't have enough space, you are using a little bit too much of the ingredients. All you have to do is the next time make your pineapple a little smaller or your ham a little smaller. And here goes another one into the triangle. Okay. Now that first one's done. And uh, I need to get that out of there, although uh, my utensil is in the sink. So I'm going to use a spoon. And when you get done that cooking that, you put it right on your um, serving dish or whatever dish with some napkins or paper towels on it. And that way there, the extra oil will run off. Now this honey here, you probably wonder what that's for. I'm going to make a wonderful sauce in a couple minutes with the honey, marciano, and, um, cherries, and uh, a little bit of pineapple. And, and that's for your dipping sauce for your treat after. When this is cooking here, you can flip it over. If you feel it didn't turn going in so it browns both sides evenly. And as you can see, it only takes a few seconds. There's number two done because this ham's pre-cooked, and that's the lovely thing about it. Okay, I'm going to be back. I'm going to cook all these up. I'll be right back to uh, make a nice sauce with you. <laughs>